Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Topper's Talk and today we have Minchu with us. Hi Minchu, please introduce yourself. Hello ma'am. Uh my name is Minchu Biam. I am from Mysore. Um and I'm presently studying in first year BLLB course at National Law School India University Bangalore. Um I gave my class 2023 uh and 2022 as well i took a drop after i couldn't clear the 2022 class uh yeah all right so how was your experience with legal edge uh i think like i'll start from 11th standard like the first time i started preparing for class i joined uh, legal edge in june of 2020 i guess and um, i took a two year program for uh, for like to appear in the 2022 uh, clark program and uh, i think the classes there were like really helpful uh, especially the english uh, it 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 gave me ideas and ways to like explore a uh, new type of new genre of reading which i wouldn't have and uh, it it basically gave me the skills to appear in mocks mm-hmm. um and a particularly interesting thing about legal edge is the mocks in it is really tough and competitive and so uh, like getting 80 90 marks in legal edge mocks would be like uh, getting 115 kind of marks in actual clat so it it kind of gave me confidence to appear in actual clat especially the legal section the actual clat uh, was like the legal section was very lengthy and after reading legal edge mocks it it you know kind of boosted my confidence to appear uh, in clat so after clearing clat you are in nlsiu how are you feeling yeah. and how is the campus how is life out there it's it's really nice to start with uh, it's been like two and two months i guess yeah two months and uh, the campus is very beautiful it's like green and uh, the sun doesn't come in. you can't feel the sun the entire day it's beautiful uh the academic is really like rigid and you know you have that pressure ki what pressure i had for clat the pressure in nls is more than the pressure for clat i'll tell you and yeah so as you said ki clat 2022 mein aapka nahi hua tha and 2023 it was like suddenly ek notification aata hai and it's like it's just 6 months for clat so how did you deal with this was it a shock for you or you changed your plans and how did you deal with this so after i couldn't clear the clat in the first time i uh, decided to go to some other law college mm-hmm. but because of the notification i guess that helped me choose i mean take a drop uh because it it was just 6 months away so i i need not wait for another year mm-hmm. uh, it was just 6 months away and uh, and my like whatever i read i could just apply it to more mocks and you know i could practice more and appear for the clat uh, so it it didn't discourage me it encouraged me to uh, go for a drop all right so how did you utilize the legal edge material to its optimum level jisse aap kafi acche se perform kar paaye uh so let's start with the classes uh basically you have to have the basic uh, theory or theoretical knowledge of whatever clat requires you and um, and you have to know ki uh, the basic principle not in depth knowledge just the basic uh, and legal edge you know after the pattern changed it actually adapted to uh, it it didn't you know they didn't teach us in depth knowledge they taught us the basic which is all what is required and uh, RSMs. I uh, I couldn't finish a lot of RSMs. There are still RSMs left. Uh, it was that much material for me, and I practice like at least one uh, assignment per section every day. And uh, the RSMs were kind of similar to the actual CLAT uh, pattern. So uh, it was it was more detailed, and it had a lot of practice material than theory based material, which is a very important thing because. for this type the, the new pattern of clat you require more practice than knowledge of legal okay so clat as a journey has a lot of ups and downs right so how did you deal with that and what were the solutions that you found jo bhi aap problems face kar rahe the okay so uh, i'll tell you what problems i faced in my first clat and 
uh, how I overcame them in the second. First, uh, I think uh, distraction, that was like a very major problem. I used to get distracted with any movie release, any web series which was coming up. And it's it's normal. Everyone faces that problem. Um, after that procrastination, I'm like, okay, I'll do the newspaper later on or I'll do this series later on. So I just postponed it a lot, I guess. And one major thing, major flaw is that I postponed mocks to the end, uh, which I never took. So... I, I mean, like, there were 30 some mocks which I never took in my first class. So, never do that, never procrastinate your, especially your mocks and your practice. And uh, when you are getting distracted, try not to use any social media or any, uh, you know, YouTube or anything which distracts you. Even for five minutes, it will distract you more. So, just avoid it completely, especially in the, uh, in the final phase of your preparation. All right. So, as you said, you did some of the mistakes when you attempted a CLAT for the first time. And in the second time, you overcame kiya and it was all good. So, tell me five tips that you want to give to students who couldn't clear CLAT this year but are appearing in the coming year. Uh, the first thing would definitely be don't get distracted. Try not to get distracted. Uh, be it any web series or like that was like major distraction just try to not get distracted uh and uh, second thing would be don't procrastinate thing just fix that you have to do this much in this day and complete it don't procrastinate it for the next day because then it will go on piling up and then there would be a point when you'll just give it up like i can't do all of these things so don't procrastinate uh third practice a lot this is very important because this entire new pattern of CLAT is all about practicing. So the more you practice, the more you can, uh, you know, more you find mistakes in yourself and more you can clear and solve them. So practice it and revise things. Uh, so, you know, like the theory is not important, but it still is kind of essential for you to um, understand what the passage is saying, especially in legal. Uh, if you basically know what the passage is saying, then you don't. You need. You need not read the entire passage. You just have. You know, can skim through it and then appear uh, the questions. So revise. Don't waste a lot of time in revision, but do revise. And uh, uh, at last, make a timetable. Not just day wise timetable, but even month wise timetable that. I will complete this topics in this month. I'll appear for these many mocks in this, uh, you know, this month. I mean, month-wise timetable, that's also essential. And uh, make sure you allot a lot of time for mocks. Like, you you can uh, solve one mock per week, that's fine. But try to solve two mocks per week. And by the end stage, I guess, like, in the last month, November or October, Try to solve one mock per day. I did that in my uh, the last month of my prep. All right. So as you know, there are just three months left for CLAT. So what would be your tips for students who are appearing in CLAT 2024? Uh, I guess just calm down. Uh, there's a lot of pressure now, just three months away. And it, it's like you have taken a drop for especially for droppers that you have just wasted another year all of those pressures i understand but just make sure that you don't uh leave your preparation for that you have to just whatever pressure is there just keep it aside while you're preparing just prepare and then take up the pressure don't uh let the pressure you know interfere in your preparation so that's the first thing and then i think solving mocks mm -hmm. in my entire drop after i took a drop uh I didn't read any theory. I just took mocks and mocks, a lot of mocks. So even the mocks which I didn't uh, give for my first class, those and the mocks I subscribed later, all of them, I used to give a lot of mocks. So and analyze the mocks. That's that's very important. Don't leave the analyzing part for like okay, my culpa. Just make sure that you analyze that day after the mock. Fifteen ten minutes, take rest and analyze it. The the mock should be fresh in your mind when you're an analyzing it. All right. So as you say ki mocks are very important, hote hai, right? So what was your first mock score 
एंड हाउ डिड यू इंक्रीज इट फर्दर मतलब हाउ यू वर्क की उसके मार्क्स बढ़ जाए because it's a very tough call ki matlab bahut difficult hota hai mock scores ko increase karna so what are steps did you take uh the first mock score i'll tell you in uh, my like the first the very first mock score was i got 30 marks out of 150 uh and i and i was happy for it because i didn't know the syllabus i didn't know anything i just gave the mock and i got 30 i mean i was happy but uh, uh from coming coming from 30 to 60 70 is like Okay, doable. But going from seventy to hundred, you know, that is a tough journey. Uh, so I think you have to learn from every mock. Make sure you don't repeat the same problem. And uh, uh, I guess GK is one thing where I I never could perform well. Like even in the uh, end mock, I I got very low score in GK, like seventeen something. Uh, so I mean the the paper was also tough, and GK like it got messed up for me. But I did uh, give like two hours per day for GK. Uh, don't just leave GK. Just keep revising it. Don't uh, you know base all your marks on GK. Just just keep it aside and uh, try to get marks in legal, English, and logic. Uh, maths. I mean, uh, a lot of people are very good at maths, and a lot of people aren't. But you have to make sure that you get a lot of ma- marks in legal, logic, and English. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Anything you want to add on, or I might not have asked, or any suggestions you want to give to our students? Uh, the thing is that just just don't feel pressurized. Um, I felt a lot of pressurized, and there were like phases in my preparation when I just blanked out and I stopped doing everything. Like I didn't read, I didn't even touch newspaper. They were like those phases. but that was because i felt a lot of pressure uh, so i mean it 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 turned out to be good for me because i prepared in the end but a lot of people are not lucky so don't you know just come to that kind of pressure uh make sure not pressurized if not clad then you you'll just get into something else just give your best and you know hope uh that whenever you're practicing just give your best that's that's all all right Thank you so much Minchu thank you so much thank you